Hello everyone, I'm Krishnanshu Mittal from Upside Down Labs. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Neuro Playground Light. NPG Light is a pocket-sized biophysiological sensing device with three-channel bio app to record ECG, EOG, EMG, and EEG signals. It streams data over multiple wireless protocols and has featherwing-style expandability for plug-and-play HCI and PCI projects. For this tutorial, we'll be using Neuro Playground Light, Vibes Playmate, Gel Electrodes, Bioam snap cables, new prep skin preparation gel, alcohol swabs, a laptop with a Type-C cable. Now fire up the NPG light by toggling the switch on it. Then we'll use the NPG light flasher which is a user-friendly tool to flash firmware onto your ESP32 based NPG light or any ESP32 development board. Download the NPG light flasher from the GitHub link provided in the description. Once installed, connect your NPG light via Type-C cable. Choose the firmware you'd like to flash. For this tutorial, select BLE, identify the port, and then hit flash. Once the firmware is flashed, unplug the NPG light from your laptop and disconnect the laptop's charger to minimize any AC noise. Now, let's prepare a skin surface before applying the electrodes. Start by applying new prep skin preparation gel to the areas where the electrodes will be placed. This step ensures that your skin is ready for the best possible electrode contact. For EMG, we'll be using the flexor carpi radialis muscle. For ECG, both of your wrists. For EEG, the forehead and the area behind both ears. After applying the new prep gel, clean the surface using alcohol swabs. Once your skin is prepared, it's time to connect BioM snap cables to NPG light. Channel 1 to A0P and A0N. Channel 2 to A1P and A1N. And channel 3 to A2P and A2N. Where P means positive and N means negative and one cable for reference. Now snap the positive and negative cables of channel 1 to the gel electrodes and place them on your arm like this. For channel 2, connect the electrodes and place the negative on your left wrist and the positive on your right wrist. For channel 3, attach the positive to your forehead between FP1 and FP2, the negative behind one ear on the bony part and the reference behind the third ear. Here are some checks before you start visualizing the data. Prepare your skin thoroughly. Your laptop should not be connected to a charger. Make sure you're at least 5 meters away from any AC appliance. NPG light should be fully charged and should not be connected via USB cable. Finally, let's move on to the visualization. Go to quads.upsidedownlabs.tech. Make sure you're using a Chromium based browser for visualization. Click on visualize now and select NPG light from the options at the bottom of the screen. Ensure Bluetooth is enabled on your system, but you don't need to pair the device manually. Then, click the connect button to scan and see the list of available devices. Select your device to begin real-time visualization of your biopotential signals. At first, you will see the first channel by default. You can click on the settings icon to select all the channels. Now select the filter option to add an EMG filter to the first channel, an ECG on the second and EEG on the third one. Also enable the notch filter to minimize AC noise. Select 50Hz or 60Hz depending on the AC frequency of your region. This interface allows you to select the channels you'd like to visualize, select the zoom level, play or pause the data stream for signal analysis, apply bandpass filters and notch filters for better signal quality, and record the data for all the channels and save it in a CSV format. When you're done, you can click on disconnect. This concludes the tutorial of Neuro Playground Lite which is available via Crowd Supply. All the links are provided in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, like, share and subscribe. Until next time, keep tinkering.